Hey, hope you're doing well. So you may have realized that it can get quite quickly cumbersome to set up your trading bots via a remote terminal, to copy files, to change parameters, things like that. It, it does get cumbersome. Probably if you know me, you know I like to make my life easy. So I want to show you a very simple way of doing all of this is by actually configuring VS Code to access remotely to your server. So you can then via VS Code create new files, open files, change parameters, save, whatever, everything via VS Code. So let's go. First things first, we need to install the extension in VS Code that allows it to handle SSH connections because that's the protocol under which we'll be connecting and configuring this connect automatic connection to our server. So for that very easy, we just come here and click on this extensions menu. And then here we'll just type remote SSH and it will find the package. There we go. You can see remote SSH here. So it's actually already installed on my machine, but if you haven't, if it's not installed on yours yet, you'll have an install icon here that you can click. Great. So once we have done that, once this is installed, what will happen, a few things will appear here, but more importantly for us, what we want is this blue icon at the bottom left here. So we'll simply click on this and then here we can click on connect to host. So this host, this is basically what we're going to do now is to plug in, configure all the credentials required to connect to that, to the server that we want. Then what we'll do, we we'll want to configure a new host. And then here, you, I want to go to my .ssh folder where I've put the key to connect to the server. We'll get to this. And there we go. So I have already a bunch of those configured. But what I want to show you, this is, I've prepared that already because this is the syntax that we need to follow to set up this remote connection. So we'll give it a name to this host. We'll just call it my server, whatever. You can put whatever you want. And now in here, we have to retrieve the information from the server. So generally, this will depend what kind of server you're using. But on what I often present in the trading bot videos is using AWS server simply because they provide a free server instance for a year. But just take this as an example, but really you can use, you can implement that with whatever server you're using. What is important is to get the correct information. So what we want is this public, IPv4 address, because this is what we have to come here and put in our host name. Great. Then user, this will depend on the server, but for AWS, the, the server that I created for this example is Ubuntu server. So the name of the user here is Ubuntu. Sometimes you have to put root, it depends on what kind of server you're using, but here we'll go, we're using Ubuntu. And finally, identity file. So in general, to connect to a server, when you create a server instance, when you're in the process of creating this, you create some SSH keys. So this is the authentication part to make sure you are the right user that is connecting to the server, to the server that you created. So for that, we use SSH keys. You would create that as a, a file if you want that um, you would create when you're setting up the server here, for example, on AWS. So what is important here is to simply give the path to that dot, that dot pem, generally that is the format of a SSH key. So we have to give that, um, that path here. So this in general, it is customary to put it in this SSH, is a, is a dot SSH folder. So you have it here, C users, Louis, because that's the name of my user and my name, by the way, as well, dot SSH. So I'm just going to copy this path that you see here. You can see indeed, sorry, I should have maybe showed you that first, but this is the dot, S, the dot PEM SSH key that I've created for this instance that we have here. So great. So there we go. I'm going to put that here and I need to add the, the fact that it was called VS Code dot dot M. Great. So I'm just going to now save this control S. Very cool. So now what we can do is actually now we've considered, we've configured this, this, the automatization of connecting remotely, but we might as well now connect remotely. So now if I've done that, I do connect to host and you can see that now down here, I have indeed my server. So this is going to open a new window. And now you can see this is the first time that I'm connecting remotely. So VS Code is asking what, um, what this is. 
just to mention why we did we configure this host, etc., and put it in here so it's, it's so that we don't have to do it every time. Now it's configured and we can just go just open VS Code, do the, the connect the connect to host without needing to configure anything anymore. So okay, so here I should say that this is an Linux. By the way, am I sure? Yes, blah blah blah. I want to continue, etc. Now, depending on the server or whatever, when we've configured, sometimes you can also add a, another key of security where you put a, a password. If you do that, then at this point here, you would have up there, once the, the connection has kind of been made, to be able to fully access it. Here up there, you will get a password prompt where you would have to give the password that you, that you, that you configured for the server. Anyways, here you can see, that, like, typically you have a terminal here and you are, we are indeed on this server. If I do ls to see what's in there, this is just an example server that I just created, so there's nothing there. But typically you would have in there all the codes, your script for your trading bots. And I will show you an example just in a second where I, we have, I have a trading bot running. But you can see open folder, here you can come, you can see there's nothing, but if I did this, this is opening the actual, I have to say, Linux again. And this is taking a tiny bit of time. I do, this is the first time. So again, these are things that are happening because, that are asked because it's the first time I connect remotely to it. So yes, I trust the authors. So basically here you see the, the content of what's on your server. And basically for the moment, there's nothing except some hidden files when there's a dot in front, it's hidden files or so some things you don't really have to care about. But typically, if you had a folder trading bot one, two, three, whatever, it would be in here. And actually, let me connect quickly to a server where I run a trading bot with many coins, etc. So you can see. Let me get back to you. Okay, perfect. I've connected to this server when I where I'm running this envelope trading bot. So that's something I've presented on this channel. I'll drop the link down below for the full tutorial about that, if, in case you're interested. And what you can see. Here I, in the code, in the strategies, I'm running in this envelope, I'm running several coins at the same time. So a lot of files, I've opened one, for example, and now rather than having to come in the terminal, connect, etc., change, whatever, here you can do it directly. You could come here, do this, then do control S to save, and the new modifications to the file would, would be taken into account. Great. But so this was a run.py, there's many, you know, so if you realize if you have to do all of this via the terminal, it can be a bit annoying. And, you know, you can totally do control C, control V here, it'll do the, create a new file, etc. So you don't have to go through all the, the, let me delete this actually, delete permanently. Great. So really, that really saves you a lot of time. As you might, if you've seen the video, I also go through, create some bash files to automate and have things run together. So you could come and change this as well. But I also wanted to mention, and I think it's important, you also via VS Code here have a terminal. If it's not here, you know, you could just come here and click on new terminal. But so this is just like, you know, if you had configured, done an SSH connection via your terminal on your machine, well, here basically you have the the you have the terminal directly in VS Code, and you can see it is indeed on the server. So if I do, for example, CD, I'm already in live trading bots. So you see all the things that are basically here. But something quite important I want to mention generally with those Python trading bots to automate them, I use a cron tab, and you could typically. I just want to show that with that you could totally access your cron tab and you let me put that and if you so you have you see i have things running here whatever but basically you could also configure your cron tab via your vs code and again once you've done that step of of configuration the host thing well anytime you don't have to do that again if you want to access your trading bot you come here you do you come here do what we did connect to a host etc put the password if you have a password, and then that's done. Great. Awesome. If you want some more Python trading bot, algo trading related content, you can check these out. Otherwise, happy trading. I hope to see you soon and take care.